rolling. <laughs> starts with a really unusual chord. It's a C major 7 chord. And the idea is I've got my third finger in the third fret of the fifth string, plucking it with my thumb. Now for me, my middle finger is then plucking the open third string, and my ring finger is plucking the open second string. So we've got three notes. It's a beautiful chord unusual way to start a song so it could be thumb middle ring the way I do it or some people are really gonna prefer thumb index middle okay uh, someone like myself I tend to work it out both ways just to kind of get that kind of coordination anyway first chord then I play with a single note keep holding the bass down the second fret of the first of the second string I'm sorry the first fret of the second string and then the open second string so it sounds like this okay now then I'm going to switch chords it goes to this G chord which is going to be third fret sixth string open third string third fret second string Okay, and then after I pluck that with my thumb, middle, and ring, then I play the third string, I'm sorry, the third fret of the second string right where I am, and then the open third string. So this is like this, G. So each chord has two notes answering. Then this one. Okay, you know, so probably want to get that down before you're moving along too much. Kind of a lot. Okay, now, then we're going to move up and we're going to go on the, on the fifth string, we're going to go to the seventh fret. So most of, most of you are all going to have a dot over there, so that's going to help a lot. And we're going to play the eighth fret, so one fret above that with the second string. Okay, now, you know, just in terms of getting the music theory, that's C, you go up two frets, it's D. So the fifth fret of the fifth string is D, the seventh fret of the fifth string is E. You know, so you, for you people that are getting into the cage system already, this is, this, is, this would be like an E minor chord, and, and they call that like the A minor shape moved up there. We don't really need to get into that now. But now we're here. And what we do is, after we pluck those three strings, the fifth string, the open third string, the eighth fret of the second string, we then play the second string again, right where it is, and then the open third string. Okay, so it's like this. Okay, then we move down, the bass goes down, two frets to the note D and the second string is now played in the seventh fret really makes like a, like a D chord so D and then we go like this so it's and then actually what we're playing is just two strings here I'm playing the fifth string and the second string and then I'm playing the second string to the third string. Watch this move. Uh, okay, here's the whole thing up till now. Real slow. Okay, and that's really the whole vamp that she sings over. Now what she does is, 
on the studio version, um, on the third cycle of the vamp, she has this little fill that she plays, which is really lovely, okay? And the idea about it is this. You've got your first finger in the seventh fret of the fifth string, your second finger in the eighth fret of the second string. So you play those two together. Then you take your pinky, and on the second string, you go up to the tenth fret, and then back to the eighth fret. So it's like this. Then you move down to your sort of D chord again. Okay, so you've got the fifth fret of the fifth string, the seventh fret of the second string. Then with your pinky, you go to the eighth fret and back. Now check this out. Beautiful. And then right back. Now, let's look at this PDF. I think this is going to be a big help to making this real, okay? You know, when you first learn a song, I think it's totally right to kind of just get the general idea of it. Okay, here's PDF. So, the first chord, C major 7, notice we're playing three strings. We're playing the third fret of the fifth string, the open third string, the open second string. Now, then dom here and then what this arrow means is arrow means you go from the second fret i'm sorry the first fret of the second string to the open second string so dom da da so that means melody so we start dum bum bum now then we go to our g chord we've got the third fret of the sixth string and also the third fret of the second string and the open third string da and then watch this the arrow here means we're going from the third fret of the second string to the open third string so da 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 and then da dum okay and we go all the way up the neck there to this little e minor chord um seventh fret of the fifth string eighth fret of the second string we play that then we play that open third string. Then we move down to this, this D chord, the fifth fret of the fifth string, the seventh fret of the second string. We stay right on that seventh fret and we pluck that second string, pluck the open string. That repeats, okay? Um, I think this PDF is really helpful. For the fill lick, dump, uh, here we've got the seventh fret of the fifth string, the eighth fret of the second string, just two, two strings. And then what we do is we stay where we are, but then we move up to the 10th fret of the second string and then back to the eighth fret there. Similarly, the idea that we do the same idea here also. So we're going from the seventh fret of the second string to the eighth fret of the second string and back. These are like, Now, you know, something I did try to get on this when I started I was playing really pretty close to my my saddle or my bridge here getting a really kind of a trebly sound and then when I went to this fill I moved back into the neck a little bit which I thought was a nice um, uh, touch. Now, in classical guitar playing, they call playing near the neck or over the sound hole, they call this dulce or sweet. This sound, wow, called ponticello, which means near the bridge. So one of the neat things about guitar is you can get different sounds out of it depending on wh how you pluck and where you play and things like that. But anyway, I love this song and this is a really nice way to spend time playing the song. Anyway, thank you for listening.